Hey y'all, it's Kenny again, back with another video. So I've been getting um, a couple of questions on how do I make content for my Instagram page. And honestly, to be honest, I really don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Basically, just stay tuned and I'll let you know and we'll break it down. So the first thing you want to do um, or the first thing you want to think about while creating content is come up with a statement piece or maybe a theme and Sometimes this is like the hardest part of creating content Depending on what you want to portray or put out or represent or whatever. So things I like to do I just I like to go on random clothing websites and Here's a hint look at accessories. Just look at look and see look and see what accessories are trending? Um, how can I be your statement piece? What can you do around it? Um, look at costumes. I mean, Halloween is once a year, but costumes are really are year round, more or less. Look at that and maybe find inspiration or just walk outside, look at things, you know, basically do your research. I like to shop. So I'll shop and I'll look and I'll scroll, 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 and I'll see things like, oh, I like this color, oh, I, I like that pattern, and then I'll go from there and then try to build up on it. So for example, I found this top, well, it's actually a two-piece thing. So this is a top, it has roses on it. I thought it was super cute, and it has these little tassel thingies, Doo -doo -doo -doo. and I'm like, this is different, you know, I haven't really seen anyone with something like this before, to my knowledge, right? And then the bottoms, they're kind of skimpy, but they also have tassels. And with things like this, I just layer them to find like another red bottom or something else that I can put underneath this because obviously this is too much demasiado, right? So I have my outfit with the roses, okay? Now, what's next? Now, okay, the dollar store is your best friend, okay? I don't know if you've ever been to Dollar Tree or Family Dollar or 99 Cent Store or whatever, but every time I walk into one of those establishments, I become an event planner. I see things, I'm like, ooh, I could do this, this, and this with that. And I'm like, ooh, I could do this, this, and that. This, this, and this with that too. I just get too excited, but I had to pull it back. Especially when things cost a dollar, think it can get a little crazy. All right, so you see how I have my flower idea with my roses. So I went to the store and I found some flowers. Yes, they are fake, but they're still cute, right? Some flowers, I'm like, all right, how can I make this work? So a lot of things you don't know unless you just try. So for example, um, I did a shoot. I wrapped the flowers around. I'm too short, but I wrapped it around the pole just to see how that would look. Um, and it came out bad. Maybe I needed a little bit more flowers, but it's hard to pull with this kind of wrapped around. But it's just an idea. So something else you could, I could have probably done if I had more, right? Put, <laughs> make a circle with the flowers at the base of the pole and, you know, kind of be like a garden in the middle. These are the visions I have, right? If that doesn't work, I just keep moving and trying new things. So I also had, these flowers were on a stem, like you saw previously, but they came off because I was climbing the pole. Let me just scatter them onto the floor it's just props it was fairly cheap anyway keep it nice and light and i also found these cute little red flowers let me bring it closer and i just attached them to this stem tree as well Cut this up. Where's my scissors? 
No, they're not in here. <laughs> okay, they are. So I actually just cut this up. Like I said, these things are cheap. Reuse, reduce, recycle. But try to make the most out of it. Spread it across the floor. So if you haven't noticed, I'm going for a garden theme. Why? I don't know. But you know, oh, actually I do know why. Because it's spring and I just wanted some color, something different. Placement doesn't really matter because things are just gonna fall wherever they wanna fall anyway. So that would be one of my ideas. Okay, so we have the outfit, we have the top and the bottom. Now I have to decide if I wanna wear shoes or no shoes. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I'm back. So now I have on my outfit. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this as of yet, but this is the look I'm going for. I was thinking about wearing heels, I don't think so. Um, let's see. I also have red stockings, but sometimes when you do too much, it's a little overkill. But also, you never knew unless you try. So, yeah, it's not gonna work. I'm too skinny. So now I have the outfit, I have my scene, we're in the forest. Now what color choices do I want? I don't have batteries for my remote, so I gotta go through everything. So option one, maybe more of like a red light or red tint, using my ring light. Also very important to have. If I want something a little bit more Earthy tone, because I'm giving forest vibes now. <laughs> Green. And then from there, I just dance wherever I want to do, whatever I decide. See how I feel, move around, try different things, go out the pole, etc., etc. So that's basically how, or that's basically how I create content or I have been creating my content. Um, if you have videographers, photographers, uh, very, uh, like friends that are good with this type of thing, like content ideas, definitely link with them. I've linked with some people and we definitely come up with a lot of great things, especially with my photographer. I'm like, hey, I wanna do this, this and that. And he's like, okay, let's try it out. So I like that type of vibe. So that's also another thing to consider, especially if you yourself aren't good or great with coming up with content. <sighs> I hope this helps. Enjoy. On a tout dépensé, on n'a plus d'argent.